YouTube Nation. It's for your success. Your favorite hiking professor, Dr. Brandon Four. Today, Wetterhorn. Three and a half miles to the summit. You can see the trail right there. You can see the elevation profile. You can see how I talked about it's steep, but guess what? That is not the only 14er I'm going for today. So I'm here, I'm gonna go to Wetterhorn first, and then I'm going for Uncompadre, and then back. Greetings from 11,000. 800 feet. That is Wetterhorn. That's peak one. In front of you is not peak two. That's Matterhorn. 13,950. Uncompadre is on the other side up here. It was 38 degrees just after six this morning at the trailhead. It is incredible today. Just outside of Lake City in central Colorado. I reached Trail Junction this way to Wetterhorn Peak. The sun is rising and it's a glorious day in Colorado. Ah, uh, summertime in Colorado. Flowers blooming, snow melting. I'm at 13 on my way to that saddle. And then cutting the ridge to the summit. Welcome to 13-1 on the ridge. Some of you think the hike has been brutal so far, and some of you are like, the hike is just beginning. A thousand feet to go. All right, I'm following a well-defined trail. Across the ridge here, coming this way. See the guy in the lime? That's where I'm going. Just to give you a perspective, it's time to go uphill. All right. Up to this rock rib and then to the left. All right, it looks like here and then through that way towards the summit. Follow the notch. Got some climbers coming up. Hit this final pitch. Woo! Wow. Just incredible. And looks like right here is the way up. You can see the trail down there because I'm at the summit of Wetterhorn Peak. 14,015 feet. 
That's 14er number two for today. Uncompadre, are you kidding? I mean, it is just a spectacular low wind day here at the summit. A fun class three scramble to get to the top. Boy, oh boy. Absolutely magical up here. Woo. To the summit! Yeah. Yes, sir! Great success! Great success! Oh, yeah. Man, it's gorgeous up here. Celebrations all around for everybody. Well deserved. Definitely a fun class three. I'm crazy. Took me two hours from the four wheel drive trailhead to the summit. And now I'm gonna rest here for a bit. Take my time getting down on my way to Compadre. Man, it's such a beautiful day up here. And a couple other incredible hikers up here enjoying what it's like to be on top of a 14er. Enjoying this for just a little bit more. My God, it's beautiful. What a blessing. This second 14er isn't going to get done by itself. And yes, downhill. It's time to go downhill. Oh, yes, it's downhill and steep. One last beautiful view as I descend. Going down. Hi there. Hello. All right, finally getting back to trail about thirteen four. Time to pick up the pace. On trail, beautiful day. The other trail is up there. So there's a trail in between. So instead of going back to the trail intersection, I'm gonna do a shortcut, try to cut off a mile or so. Give me a Costco almond. As you can tell, marmots can run fast. Just switching between the trails to try to save some miles. Man, it's just such a gorgeous day. Got to work on getting some energy as I'm about to start going uphill again for 14 or number two. But right now, hardly a cloud in the sky. Things are looking good. I bet you wish you were here in our new world. Social distancing at its finest, folks. 
It's just you, me, and glorious nature. And lots of marmots. One last view of Wetterhorn, Matterhorn, and now, Uncompadre. I'm at about 12, five. Trail really doesn't go much lower than this. It's gonna connect with the trail to Summit. And I have to come back this way too. It's gonna be flat here for a couple of miles. I think I'm gonna get a run in. Let's go. So it's relatively flat to a little more downhill than obviously lots of uphill. About 12 to and what a day. That ridge will connect the trails and then start heading up. By the way, it's still a gorgeous day. Welcome to 12-9. What in a beautiful, imposing mountain. Trail is to the left. You can see it in the far edge of the screen. I'm at 13.2. You see the trail here switch back up to the summit. With this being my second 14er of the day, I have slowed down a little bit, but I'm feeling really good and Just feeling a lot of gratitude being out here and that I know I got this one step at a time. Here we go. Thirteen six. Still a ways to go. This summit's fourteen three. Oh, don't mind me. I just have company. He gets fed way too much. Oh yes, 14,309, 14er, number two today. Yes, and it is spectacular.
looky looky just how gorgeous it is here <sighs> a couple people up here enjoying victory 14 or number two Yes, 14 or number two today. Wow, it is going to be a long slog back. Because uh, so far I'm about, I don't know, nine, ten miles in. And it's going to be at least another nine, maybe ten. And probably further because the two-wheel drive trailhead. So it's going to be a slog back, but so glad to get this second 14er in and just look at the views behind me. It is absolutely stunning today. It is so clear. A uh, little bit of smoke in the air, but man, what a blessing to be able to do this. And I'm so glad that I can share this experience with you. All right, status update. I just finally hit the final ridge. So it's downhill from here. Uh, two and a half to the four wheel drive trailhead. Probably three and a half to go. And <clears throat> feeling pretty good. Obviously, you know, tired and a little sore, but that's what hiking 14ers is all about. Or 13ers, <laughs> they're all hard. <clears throat> but it is a beautiful day outside. Uh, it's not even two o'clock yet. They were calling for a 20% chance of showers by two. And you, you can tell that it's a long way away before any type of weather happens. But for right now, I am just enjoying the satisfaction of summoning two 14ers in a day and heading back. Hey, I am below the four-wheel drive trailhead. I am wrapping this hike up. A little over seven hours to do 20 miles, 6,000 feet of elevation gain, 4,000 of that above 12 just slightly more than four. And what an adventure. Uh, there was uh, quite a few people on the trail that recognized me. I have just accepted that fact, and I actually am really happy that they told me they recognized me. And because they said really, really nice things about the channel and how it motivated them. And hey, thank you. You know, I, I do these videos because there's demand. You wanna see it. You wanna experience it. For those of you who dream it, those of you who wanna do it, and those of you who just simply can't 
but they're grateful to see the beautiful outdoors. So for the last time here, just outside of Lake City, Colorado, I'm for your success, your 20 mile favorite hiking professor, Dr. Brandon Four. Get out and appreciate nature. You never know when it's gonna change, folks. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. Stay safe, stay healthy. Social distancing, folks. All right, I'm signing off. Till the next time, take care.